have a demonstration of how C-coil flexible flat cables can handle the extremes of extreme cold temperatures. That's dry ice here, which is as cold as want, minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pour some, some IPA in there, some alcohol, and you can see the resulting steaming. What we have here is we have a solution of dry ice and alcohol yep, to create a solution in which to dip a flexible flat cable. And you can see from our thermocouple here, the temperature of the dry ice is right now at a minus 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Extremely, extremely cold temperatures. So what we're going to do now, and I'll just show you just how the dry ice operates when you put it in there. This is dry ice, minus 109. Put it in there, and it's in there with the alcohol, creating an extremely, extremely cold solution. Pour a little alcohol in there, get that special effect, like Halloween. There you go, extremely, extremely cold. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take three flat cables and put them in there and keep them in there. First we're going to put a, a Teflon jacketed cable just Teflon jacketed, we're going to put that in there. Oops, get it in there really well. Next we're going to put a PVC ribbon cable in that extreme temperature, minus 102 degree solution. And then finally we're going to put in the Sequoil silicone clear flexible flat cable. We're going to put that in there as well. We're going to put all of them in there. I'm going to stuff them down really good. Ooh, that's cold on the hands. I'm going to put it down there really good. We're going to leave it in there for a half an hour to an hour. Give it a long, good long time at that cold temperature. Then we're going to show how each of these cables are affected by that extreme cold temperature. You can see that the thermocouple is showing the temperature of the solution of dry ice and alcohol is, is at minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Extremely, extremely cold. Minus 100 degrees. And what we've done is we've left the three different types of cables in there for 20 minutes. You've got the PVC cable, the Teflon flat cable, and of course there's the C-coil silicone flat cable. So let's see how they handle this extreme cold temperature, minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. First we have the, I want to hold out of my hand, we have the PVC cable. See how stiff it is. Oh, it's very, very stiff. Can't even bend it at all. If you try to bend it, it's actually going to crack very easily. You can see that. You heard it crack. And you can see the jacket is all cracked. So the PVC cable cannot handle that cold temperature. Let's try now the, the Teflon jacket cable. You can see where it was in the dry ice. Let's try to bend this and see how it handles the cold temperature. Oh, it's very stiff. You can't even bend it at all. Oh, it's really, same thing. Cracks. Totally inflexible at those low temperatures. See the cable jacket just completely cracked. Let's try the C-coil flat cable. See where it was in there. And it is much more flexible. You can see that. Totally flexible. I'm bending it right over on itself. It doesn't crack at all. It's still almost as flexible as the part that wasn't in the, the dry ice, the minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at that. Look how flexible that is. You can almost bend it on itself and it doesn't crack. Nothing happens to it. So it operates just the same as it does at room temperature. So ladies and gentlemen, there you see a perfect demonstration of the extreme cold temperature capabilities of the high performance flexible flat cables from Sequoil. Sequoil can handle the extreme cold temperature. This is a post-mortem review of the three cables that were left in the extremely cold minus 100 degree Fahrenheit. You can see the PVC cable totally cracked the jacket. This was done after we removed it from the solution. You can see that it cannot handle the cold temperature. The jacket is totally destroyed. Same thing with the Teflon jacketed cable. You can see it totally cracked and split apart. It is totally destroyed, whereas the C-coil flat cable, just the same as when it went in there. Extremely flexible, extremely supple, not affected at all by minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit.